purpose of this video is to uh, ensure proper seal installation on a generous Genesis rotary manifold. What we're hoping to do or show you here is that the seal installation itself is very critical so the rest of it you should just follow the instructions on the uh, instruction pamphlet that came with the seal kit. So to begin with we put some grease on the thrust washer and install that first. The next thing we're going to do is put one of the U-cups on. This U-cup seal has the lip that you're looking at right now. It will be oiled and facing downward. The green tape you're seeing comes with your seal kit and it's used to help walk this the seals down from flow groove to flow groove and to help you get it in place which in this case would be on the very bottom groove toward the head of the spool. Taking the tape out be careful not to cut the or leave a mark in the uh, ID of that seal. The next thing to go on is an energizer I'm sorry the next thing to go on is another U-cup this U-couple goes on with the lip facing upward. Making sure there's no twist in the, in the seal as you put it on. The next thing now would be an energizer. An energizer goes down underneath the cap seal and it's basically a square cut Buna uh, style ring and that can go on dry and the trick here is to hold the energizer in both hands to be sure that it doesn't twist. If there's a twist in it you will have a, a, a leaking issue. Uh, next is going to be the installation of another energizer in the middle groove and again to be sure it's not twisted. Okay the one seal that requires any other special uh, consideration would be the green seal. And right now we're using a toaster oven here to get it to a temperature which is designated on your instruction sheet. Now that seal being heated, the timing in which it comes out of your heat and onto this, onto this, uh, into the groove is critical. If it takes more than 5 to 15 seconds um, you'll probably end up ruining the seal if it's any longer than that. What we're hoping to do here by putting these on in a, in a quick fashion is to keep the heat in the seal so that it can be stretched on and then it resizes itself by memory back into the groove. Okay, the next uh, is another energizer. That would be in the upper upper seal groove to install in this case the last seal that's how quick it should be the, uh, between the uh, the oven and or if you're using hot oil never use water to heat the seal and uh, don't guess at the temperature it has to be within the range that's on the drawing and then the last seal that goes on is another U-cup this one faces with the U-cup downward there it is. That should be all it would take to uh, properly install the seals on this type of a swivel.